Next one comes from Danielle Noonhan. Um, what is the connection, as you see it, between mania and genius? Ah, that's very interesting. I'm slightly manic depressive, so I tend to oscillate between um, having very creative periods when I'm not very self-critical and having mildly depressed periods when I'm extremely self-critical. And I think that's more efficient than just being kind of uniform. So what happens in manic periods is you just ignore all the problems. You're, you're so sure there's something exciting here that, yeah, sure, there's all those obvious problems, but don't let those stand in our way. Let's get on with it. Um, and then when you're depressed, all these obvious problems overwhelm you. And um, the question is, can you keep going and sort them out and figure out whether the idea really was good or not? And I tend to sort of alternate like that, which is why every so often I tell people, I figured out how the brain works. And then I go through a long period of figuring out why that isn't actually true, um, which is slightly depressing. I think it's just got to be like that. Um, there's a, there's a poem by William Blake, um, that has, it's a, it has a pair of lines in it that go, joy and woe are woven fine, a clothing for the soul divine. And it's basically saying that's just the nature of being that joy and woe are woven together. And I think that's the nature of research too. And if you don't get really excited and you don't get really fed up when it doesn't work, um, you're not a real researcher. Well, maybe you're just a different kind of researcher.